Number 9. The SRT Demon 170 is a monster of a machine that can run on E85 fuel and unleash a whopping 1,025 horsepower and 945 pound-feet of torque from its supercharged 6.2-liter V8. It can rocket from 0 to 60 in a mind-blowing 1.66 seconds and blaze through the quarter mile in a record-breaking 8.91 seconds at 151 miles per hour. The Demon 170 is named after E85 ethanol, which is 170 proof, and the Heliphant C170 crate engine, which it shares some DNA with. It's one of the final combustion cars from Dodge, and only 3,300 lucky drivers will get to own one. It's a steal at $96,666 before fees and has a yellow eye in the Demon badge to show off the ethanol in E85. Number 8. Dodge wanted to race in the Trans-American Sedan Championship, also known as Trans-Am, so it built a street version of its race car and called it the Challenger TA. It was based on the standard Challenger RT model, but with a different suspension, brakes, steering, and tires. It had a 340 cubic inch V8 engine with a trio of two-barrel carburetors, also known as the six-pack, that produced 290 horsepower and 345 pound-feet of torque. Some experts think it was even more potent than that. Only 2,399 units were built in 1970, and only 989 of them had a four-speed manual transmission. Number 7. The 1969 Charger Daytona was created for the sole purpose of winning high-profile NASCAR races. It was a response to the racing failure of the previous limited edition, 1968, Dodge Charger 500 and Plymouth Superstar Richard Petty's move to Ford. Besides the 440 Magnum engine as standard, it also had an optional engine, the 426 Hemi Vive 8. The standard engine produced 375 horsepower, while the 426 Hemi generated up to 425 ponies, enough to sprint from 0 to 60 in just 5.2 seconds and complete a quarter mile in 13.5 seconds at 105 miles per hour. That's impressive for a car that weighs 4,182 pounds. Only around 500 units were produced, especially among them, only 70 units were equipped with the 426 Hemi V8 engine. Nowadays, the 1969 Charger Daytona is very valuable for collectors. Depending on the car's condition, they can cost up to seven figures. Number 6. Dodge created the 1969 Charger 500 to meet the homologation requirements and compete in NASCAR, but it failed to win the championship despite its efforts. Chrysler had to build at least 500 vehicles, but in the end, the number stopped at 392, of which 32 had Street Hemus, and the rest had 440 cubic inch wedge engines. The Street Hemi was a powerful V8 engine with 425 horsepower that could be matched with either a 4-speed manual or a Torque Flight 3-speed automatic transmission. Anyway, it was still a rare and powerful beast that could reach speeds of nearly 200 miles per hour on the track. Number 5. The 1967 Coronet W023 was a rare and unique car that Dodge built for the NHRA Super Stock B class competition. It was a stripped down and powered up version of the standard Coronet with a 426 Hemi engine rated at 425 horsepower but actually produced more than 500 ponies. Dodge only made 55 of these cars and they were sold to selected racers who could handle their performance. The car was known as the Avenger and raced throughout the Midwest and even in England. It was one of the fastest and most formidable cars on the drag strip in its time. Number 4. If you're looking for a factory-built beast that can dominate the drag strip, 
look no further than the Dodge Challenger Mopar Drag Pack. This track-only monster is tailor-made for NHRA and NMCA sportsman classes, and it's the most potent drag pack ever made. Under the hood lies a 354 Hemi V8 engine that breathes through a Whipple 3.0-liter twin-screw supercharger, delivering a staggering 630 horsepower. With a 3-speed turbo 400 transmission, this car can blast the quarter mile in a jaw-dropping 7.5 seconds. Only 50 units were produced, and with a starting price of $143,485, it's also the priciest factory Challenger ever built. Number 3. The Dodge Super B was a mid-size muscle car produced between 1968 and 1971. In 1971, the Super B adopted the Charger platform, giving it a sleek and aggressive look. The Super B offered six different engines to choose from, but the ultimate one was the 426 Hemi V8. This beast unleashed 425 horses and 490 pound-feet of torque, blasting from 0 to 60 in just 5.7 seconds and flying through the quarter mile in 13.73 seconds at 104 miles per hour. The 1971 Super B Hemi was a rare and coveted machine, with only 22 units ever made and only 9 of them paired with a 4-speed manual gearbox. Number 2. The 1970 Dodge Hemi Challenger RT was created as Dodge's answer to the Ford Mustang and the Chevrolet Camaro, which were dominating the pony car market in the late 1960s. Only 356 units of the Challenger RT were equipped with the Hemi engine in 1970, and only nine of them were convertibles. Out of those, only five units had the four-speed manual gearbox. The 1970 Challenger RT convertible was one of the most sought-after and valuable muscle cars in history. It combined stunning looks, incredible performance, and extreme rarity. Number 1. Same formula as the Challenger mentioned above. We have a 1970 Coronet convertible that comes with the RT package and is powered by the legendary 426 Hemi engine. Although 296 Coronet RT convertibles were produced in 1970, only two were powered by the Hemi engine, making it the rarest muscle car ever made by Dodge. When paired with a four-speed manual transmission, this convertible quickly sprints to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds and flies through the quarter mile in 13.6 seconds. <laughs> 